All right, and I want to get you interested in the weather because you still see a light dusting of snow there at the highest elevations for Yosemite, and they're pretty gray, but over the grapevine, all of our snow from last week is long gone, and we have pretty blue skies. That's left us pretty quiet in Bakersfield, the fog dissipating, and we're at 52 this morning with moderate air quality. So looking ahead, that storm system there, really slow mover. I didn't even have to move that icon from when I drew it this morning, so it hasn't budged. It's going to take about three more days to just very slowly move on shore to our north. As a result, we get a passing breeze, some clouds. I think today there's enough sunshine breaking through those clouds to take us to the 70s. And then tomorrow, a little more gray, so upper 60s. The next day, mid 60s. But you saw how all the rain was well to the north. And then here comes the next system. Same thing, very slowly moving on shore Wednesday, northern California, late Wednesday into Thursday. For us, I think it's going to hit us maybe Maybe as early as Thursday night, more so Friday. And look at how wet and organized it is. This is looking like a good chance of rain for us coming up on Friday. So until then, you see how we're at 70 today. Then that little dip with the first system passing through. Then up to 70 on Thursday. Here comes that very slight chance of rain that night. Looking wet on Friday. And the coolest air always comes in behind the storm. That means a good chance of snow. And I'll talk about the snow for the mountains in a minute. But first, I wanted to show you looking ahead. Sunday, we recover a little bit. But there's another chance of rain next Monday and potentially Potentially next Wednesday as well. This fantastic news for Alta Sierra. We want back to back storms and we want them to be wet and we want those snow levels to be low. So for Saturday snow level again, this is late Friday into early Saturday for our local mountains. I think it's about 3000 feet by the end of it. That's by Saturday morning. So it'll start for Breckenridge and Alta Sierra during the day on Friday and then that afternoon and evening it starts lowering down to Pine Mountain Club, Walker Pass and Fraser Park and then after the sun sets, it's looking to stick for Bear Valley Springs and Hatchby. So look ahead to those temperatures shows you for the Kern River Valley, the snow line starts at 4,500 and then falls to 3,000. Isabella, you're at 2,500, so it looks to be just above you, but the higher elevations for places like Kernville up in the mountains, they could get more. Tatchby, you're in the 60s the next couple days, and you see that fall to 46 by Friday, down to the freezing mark, bringing you about one to four inches of accumulating snow on the 58 there through the heart of town. Fraser Park is about 500 feet higher than Tatchby, so they'll be talking about that snow a little earlier, and so as a result, it should stick a little bit more. We could get six to eight inches potentially over the grapevine. Wow. That's a little messy because it's a getaway Friday, so take it easy this weekend. That's a lot. That's a Is lot that, for us. Yeah, that yeah. sounds like a lot. That's a lot. All right. Thanks, Elena.